hello everyone in today's video we are going to talk about the three different kind of device uh, join types one is azure ready registered azure ready joined and hybrid so whenever we open azure active directory and go to devices we see join type here we see a device uh, is called hybrid azure ready join uh, here we see a device which is Azure ready registered and a device which is Azure ready joined. All three are Windows device here. So what's the difference between these three types? Let's start uh, first of all with the hybrid Azure ready joined. So this is my Windows 10 machine which is uh, showing as hybrid Azure ready joined. So this machine is part of my internal domain. Uh, the domain which I have on my on-premises and with Azure AD Connect I am syncing my identities users and devices to the cloud to my Azure AD so once I set up Azure AD Connect and sync my devices to cloud so they come up as hybrid Azure AD joint device so in my environment I have uh, built two Windows 10 machines named Windows 10 AAD join and Windows 10 AAD registered I will show you a demo where I will join the Windows 10 AAD join to Azure AD domain and I will register Windows 10 AAD registered and these machines will show up in the Azure AD as Azure AD joined and Azure AD registered currently these two machines are in work group uh, they are not part of my domain they are directly connected to internet so first of all let's do the demo of windows 10 as you ready join so let me open this machine so this is a machine which is joined to the work group so here i am on the desktop i'm going to join this machine to azure ad so for that I will have to open my system settings here I will go to access work or school and click on connect on this page uh, we see these two options there below so if I click on this option that means I am joining my machine to the local AD domain my on-prem AD domain so if I go through it uh, join it to local domain this machine will get synced using Azure AD connect to the cloud and it it will show as hybrid AD device but here is the option which I have to click to join it to Azure AD domain here I have to specify my account So this machine is part of our group. I am joining it to Azure AD uh, domain. After I join it, I can use my domain account to log into this machine. So this machine would be part of my Azure AD domain now. Okay, we are getting an error here. So let's check our settings. If I go into Intune, and go under device enrollment enrollment restrictions device type restrictions properties edit and i see here uh, the windows mdm restriction is being applied here it is blocked so i'm going to allow this and let's uh, block the personally owned and see whether it works or not it means that uh, only the corporate devices are supported so the settings are saved so let's try again okay again it has failed so let's go back to the setting and check once again so what if I allow my personally owned device as well
okay so now the device is connected to Azure AD so we have seen here that uh, in order to join a device to Azure AD we will have to enable Windows MDM join platform and also allow personally owned device because this machine uh, is uh, a workroom machine uh, which my environment doesn't know about so it's a personal machine had it been an autopilot machine where I already have the device ID sync to Intune then this machine would have been a corporate machine and it would have joined Azure AD through autopilot process but here we are manually joining a machine which my environment doesn't know about so it considers it as a personally owned machine all right let's see that machine in Azure AD now under devices so here is my Windows 10 Azure AD join machine it says Azure AD joined now if I go to access work or school I see that it shows connected to default directory Azure AD let's check that on my on-prem machine so on my on-prem machine it shows that it is connected to my Django AD domain Django.local is the name of my local AD domain and on my machine which is Azure AD joint it shows connected to default directory Azure AD so the benefit of joining it to Azure AD is I can log in to this machine with my domain credentials now now we have this uh, Windows 10 AD registered machine we will register this machine in Azure AD and not join it so let's see how do we do that this is a workgroup machine I'm going to log into it before I register it in Azure AD let me disable the same settings let me disable the settings for device enrollment and see whether it works or not block it I will go to connect here instead of clicking any of these put in my email address the benefit of Azure AD registering is that uh, on this device we can use single sign-on for our cloud apps this machine won't be joined to domain uh, we will still use our workgroup account to login but it would be would only be registered and it would provide us the benefit of single sign-on so I'm going to put in my Okay, we see an error here so let's go back to enrollment restrictions and allow them and see whether it works or not let me try again okay so now it has registered so the difference we see here uh, with the machines which are Azure AD joined or hybrid AD we see a briefcase sign here but we don't see that here it's a Windows logo all right now so that means uh, we have to enable the platform settings here allow it for a device to Azure AD join manually and Azure AD register if it's a corporate device uh, you are doing autopilot then we don't need to enable the personally owned Windows MDM we only need Windows MDM allow here let's check in Azure AD whether it shows up there or not
yes we see that machine here windows 10 aad reg and it shows as already registered on this azure ready registered machine i cannot log in with my domain accounts it will still use my work group account so if i try to log in with my domain account here it won't give me an option so i'm logging in with my work group account Okay, we will see the benefit of being as already registered so on this machine if I try to access my company email it will do a single sign-on it didn't ask me for a password or anything now if I remove this device from Azure ready and then see whether single sign-on works or not and let me disconnect it from Azure ready okay it's not disconnected let me try access my email again okay it's showing me my account if I click on that now it is asking me for my password so it's not doing single sign-on so let me join this machine again to Azure ready sorry register this machine to Azure ready This machine is now as already registered and let me try accessing my email once again shows me my account clicks on it did not ask for password so single sign on works so now we have seen that if the machine is as already registered uh, the benefit it gives us is of single sign on another thing to note here is that I as already joined and my win 10 domain join machines are compliant using conditional access we can also block access to our resources from this machine until unless it becomes compliant so we can say that these machines shouldn't access our emails OneDrive if they are not compliant so when a user even though if he is as already registered and the machine is not compliant they won't be able to access our resources I hope this video was informative so now you know the difference between Azure AD Join Register and Hybrid AD Join. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you soon in my next video.